attempt this right quick. I got this from the bank. And I haven't opened it. They counted it. Let me we'll see that money. They are gone. Oh, I think them might have been my favorite wheels. And he talked you down. A hundred bucks. I mean, he drove three hours. All right, guys, I got a good video for y'all this week. Uh, y'all just saw we sold Austin's wheels and tires. Right now, I'm waiting on our friend Dalen. Dalen is making his own wheel lights now. He's hooking me and Austin up with a set. Uh, the stainless steel rings, welded brackets, looks to be really good quality. I think this is him. All right, so these are the wheel lights. These are quad rows. For anybody that doesn't know, a quad row just means there are four rows of these little diodes. So these strips are ordered and typically they come in a, just a double row. And then people will stack them into like a double row, a quad row. Some people I've seen put quad rows on the outside and the inside. And I think that Dalen will make y'all whatever you want. So make sure you hit him up on Snapchat. He doesn't have a website or anything right now. He's just getting started. He's a great dude, makes good work. So y'all go text him. I'm gonna hook these up to this DeWalt battery real quick, just for short term, just to show y'all how bright they are and how good they look. This is a 20 volt battery, so if you're doing this at home, do not leave it on there long term. These are meant to work on 12 volt applications, but just for right now, a couple of minutes on here, it won't hurt it. For anyone that doesn't know, because I just learned this also, the B plus right here is for your positive, and the B minus is for your negative. Of course, that makes the most sense, but never done this before, so. But here they are hooked up. I know some people say, oh, you just turn the exposure down or whatever. So there's the brightness, turn it all the way up, all the way down. Doesn't matter what you do, these things are stupid bright. Here they are lit up outside. I can't let y'all see the truck right now, but as you can see, it is still daylight. So of course they're not gonna light everything up. I will probably bring these out later on once it gets dark, just so I can see. I'm not sure if I put that in the video or not. But I just wanted to show off the product, show off Dalen's hard work, and show my appreciation to him for letting me get one of the first sets. I cannot wait to get these on the truck. If y'all are in the market, make sure you text Dalen on Snapchat. Like I said earlier, I think he's taking custom orders. So if you're wanting something bigger than a Quadro, he will make it. I will have a full install video putting these on the truck very soon. I gotta talk fast. I gotta hurry. Y'all see the stocks? We just got back from Panama City Beach. And y'all see the 26 by 16s? Everything goes as planned. They are sold tomorrow morning. So the guy that's set to buy them is from Louisiana. I'm going to meet him halfway in Mississippi. He's giving me 20s and 37s. I think they're high country stocks or maybe Denali stocks. I'm not sure. And uh, a good bit of cash on top. Um, if you like the stocks later in the video, I'm going to show them off. If you like them, let me know because they are for sale. I like having a set of stocks around, but that's why I have these. Can't run 20s and 37s. It's show season. I got to get off these, get these wheels sold, get the stocks sold, and buy my new setup. I've got my eyes on a new set that I want. I know the wheel and the tire I want to go with. It's a new wheel design and a new tire. So if you think you might know what it is, comment down below. If you got something that you like personally, also drop that in the comments. I'll look at it, see what I think of it. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll buy what you like. It's getting dark fast. I'm gonna pull these wheels off and I will see y'all in the morning. All right, here they are. This is the new setup. Denali stocks and 37 inch. Uh, I'm not sure what these tires are, but MT 1000. 20s and 37s uh, and of course he added some cash at the bank right now I'm about to drop it off I might go home and throw these on for y'all just to see what they look like because these are gonna be sold fairly soon um, I don't have a buyer yet but I'm gonna list them so cheap that they're gonna be gone all right guys y'all see them 37 13 50 20s they are up for sale and I think I already do have them sold but I'm gonna put them on the truck just so I can get some content with it make some TikToks, finish this video off. And uh, I'm actually not 100% sure they'll fit, and here's why. So y'all can see right now, the truck is on some 20s, and I think these are just factory size Michelins. And we are super close to hitting the spindle already. I can really put my fingers through there. But being that close to the spindle up front, and in the rear, since I'm still running no blocks, I'm worried about fitting inside the fender well. It's hard to see, but right in there, I am running an inch and a half adapter. That's going to push the wheel out an inch and a half already. And we don't have much room on the spindle. And the same goes for the rear, but instead I'm running a two inch instead of an inch and a half. So I'm really not sure if this will work, but I'm tired of looking at my truck on these wheels. So we're going to try to put them on and hopefully it works out.
So we got the front jacked up. I'm gonna try this one first. Only put four lugs on the other night when I was taking my 16 wides off. If I'm being honest, I really don't think it'll fit in the rear or the front, obviously both for different reasons. The bed back there and the spindle up front. But for the video, we're gonna try it and cross our fingers and hope it works. The good news is it looks great. In my opinion, y'all might feel different. Um, just put four lugs on again, just to see it. But unfortunately, I was right. On the inside, we are sitting on the spindle, which really sucks because it looks so good. Y'all might feel different, but in my opinion, I really like it. I think if I could run them, I would keep them, but sadly it did not work out that way. I'm gonna put the rears on, just see what it looks like, see if 37s will fit, just so I know for the future, and, uh, and then we'll see what it looks like all together. And just like I thought, my day keeps getting better. We're touching the fender. The truck isn't on the ground yet, so once I put the truck's weight on it, we'll be way into the bedside. I think back here we've got some room. Yeah, I've got, I've got a little bit of room back here, maybe a half inch. But that does bum me out because I really like the look of it. Even if the tires are kind of like cheap and Chinese or whatever, the wheels look really good on it. And uh, I wanted to get it out, go into town, get some pictures of it, some TikToks. If you haven't followed me on TikTok, make sure you do that, please, at Jordan24V. Just to get a picture, I am going to let the truck down on its own weight and hopefully not eat into that bedside. I'm not going to move around or anything because we're hitting the bed in the rear and hitting the spindle up front just like I was afraid of. Since we're so close right here, I did have the idea to take the two inch spacer from the rear and swap them up front. And then I would just run the inch and a half in the rear. But since I'm in the bedside, I would also need to put my blocks in. And for everybody that hates the squat as much as I do, I do have the blocks. They are gonna go back in. I just have to get the U-bolts made and powder coated. You're watching Disney Channel. I did pick these up a while back, got them for free. And I was thinking that they would work put my blocks back in, but they don't fit. Like everything else I've got going on right now, it doesn't work. But the blocks will be going back in soon. Y'all let me know what you think of the look. I wish I could take it out, get some good pictures of it, get some good video, but this is what we got for now. I'm usually not a big fan of like the whole like Bubba thing, but I don't mind this at all. I really like it, even if they are on Chinese tires. I've been trying my best to make longer videos, but when something like this happens, I cannot physically drive the truck without tearing something up. So sometimes it's like that. This setup is also for sale. I'm doing 2,500 or best offer. I do have a couple offers for 2,000 already. I just gotta have somebody come through on their word and bring me cash. If you're watching this, you're a subscriber, I will hook you up on a deal. If you're interested in buying these and you're close to Central Alabama, DM my Instagram, Jordan Sales 6.0. I'll be looking at their quest. I'll try to follow everybody back and uh, try not to miss any messages. I'm also still working on my shirts. I'll put the design here. I posted a picture of that on my Snapchat and people went crazy over it, but I haven't really showed the channel yet. So those will be coming out soon. I'm trying to set up a website and trying to set up somebody to make the shirts for me. I'm gonna quit rambling. If y'all do like the video, make sure you like and subscribe. It only takes a second and it makes my day. It's the whole reason I do this. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like this setup? Should we keep it this way? Should we keep the blocks out? Should we put the blocks back in, buy new sixes? Let me know. At the time I'm recording this, we just hit 7,000 subscribers yesterday. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate all of you. Hope you all come back next week for another video and I will see y'all then. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Can't stop now. Leave, 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 leave the, the middle. middle. Yeah, leave the Underneath middle. Yeah, it's bad. Leave it like that. <laughs> oh no. You saved it wrong. <laughs>